and welcome back to another video. Today's video is going to be a review on this, the new NARS Natural Radiant Long Wear Foundation. That's right. Now I have tried this foundation about four or five times. I've had it for about two weeks and so I have been using it, but today is gonna be a test specifically for you guys so that you can see the results and judge for yourselves whether or not you wanna spend your money. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the video. All right, so here I am just going in with my Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. Um, I use this primer all the time. If you're not new to my channel, then you already know this. I will say though that this particular day, actually on the previous day, I'd had a horrible skin day. And so on this day, I did wake up and immediately do a mask, a moisturizer, and follow that with the Josie Marin Argan Oil. So that Argan Oil could have had something to do with the outcome of this foundation, which you guys are gonna see, cause it did not look like this all the other times that I wore it but you know when I was filming and this test it did look a little oily which you guys will see in the end Duh, my daughter had hit the stand y'all like the grits were hitting the fan and then my husband came and was all up in my space <laughs> as usual but anyway let's just jump into the claims of this foundation uh, it's said to be medium to full coverage it is said to be for sensitive normal dry combination and oily skin types so all skin types and it has a natural finish. Now, it also goes on to say that this is NARS's first 16 hour foundation and has a lightweight, breathable, fade resistant formula and features medium to full coverage, buildable coverage in 33 skin matching shades, tart, to fit all skin tones and undertones. Now, it goes on to say that this is transfer resistant, wet resistant, and it stays true to the color all day. It looks vibrant, it's not cakey, it's not heavy, it's not drying, it's not masking. And it even has a blend of raspberry, apple, and watermelon extracts. So, I'm gonna test this foundation for you guys, and you guys are gonna be able to see the results in just one second and judge for yourselves whether or not you want to spend your coin on this foundation. I know what I think, but I want y'all to see with y'all own eyes so y'all can judge for y'all self what your pocket's gonna do in the end, okay? Okay, so in the excitement of Saturday mornings and like my kids just going crazy and trying to figure out what we were gonna eat for breakfast and what we we're gonna do today and all that crap, I totally forgot to show you guys the time. So I've had this foundation on for probably an hour already and it is 12.47. Oh wait, y'all can't see that. Y'all can't see nothing. So I'm going to do my hair, get dressed and everything, spend some time with my husband and my kids today, and then I will check back in with you guys later on tonight. I'm going to try to make it until 12 since that's around the time that I put it on. I'm not doing a full 16 because I'm not staying up to 1, 2, 3, however long that is in the morning. Um, but I am going to wear it for as long as I can for you guys today. And Okay, you got to take turns, okay? And, um, and yeah, I'll show you guys the end results. Yes, girl. It is currently 2.53 a.m. And I've had this foundation on since I can't even remember what time I told y'all earlier in the clip. But I've had this foundation on all day. And this is how it looks. Um, I'm going to zoom in actually right now. So guys, this is my makeup after wearing this all day long. Now, I think that it looks pretty darn good. However, I have to call NARS out because it is not lasting the full 16 hours. I did not do anything whatsoever to my makeup today. I did not blot my face. I did not reapply and touch up or anything. You can probably tell by my eye makeup because I was like crying, laughing earlier at some stuff. And so I have not touched my face since you guys saw it in the previous clip. Like I have not touched it at all since application. I notice with the foundation that it is, I mean, I don't know if my camera, well, I'm sorry. I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but it is starting to separate just a little bit on my chin area and a little bit on my cheeks, but nothing too noticeable. It's nothing that anybody out in the street would be like, ooh, girl, you make it coming off. It's nothing like that. It's not really that serious to me. It's also starting to separate on my nose, but like I said, I've had this foundation on all day long. Now, NARS made some pretty strong claims. It's almost like when virgin hair companies tell you that your hair will not shed. Bull. 
all hair sheds, even the hair on your head. So when I read the claims of this foundation, I was like, bull, but okay, Nards, because I like it. The All Day Luminous has grown to be my all-time favorite foundation at the moment. That could change, I don't know. But right now, it's my favorite. And um, so I really had high expectations for this foundation, and I will say they met them. This foundation is great. It does get gradually like more radiant throughout the day. Um, I feel like if you do blot and stuff, I just spit, I'm sorry. <laughs> I feel like if you do blot your face, um, that it'll look even better but you know like I said I was really testing testing out the true essence of the foundation and the claims that they made is it transfer proof no no is any foundation transfer proof like no Nars stop okay stop so it's not transfer proof it's it doesn't last 16 hours long um what else do they say I think those are the only two, you know, that it didn't live up to, which again, I didn't expect it to anyway, but everything else they came through on. Now, just for the heck of it, I'm going to show you guys because I was looking up a review before I purchased this foundation, trying to find my shade so that I could purchase it online and I failed. So if you were in the shade New Guinea, New Guinea, I don't know how they pronounce it, in the All Day Luminous or the Sheer Glow like I am, they don't have that shade in this foundation. So you have to find your shade. So I ended up being the shade, where's the name, baby, where's the name? I don't see the name on the bottle, but I'm pretty sure it's like Balem, Balem, I think that's how you pronounce it. And so I'm just gonna show you really quick, I'm just gonna compare the two, okay? Also, when it comes to consistency, as I'm doing this, I'll go ahead and say that the NARS, one of my kids just woke up, y'all. Um, the NARS All Day Luminous is watery. I like it. It's a very loose consistency. Um, if you don't have it, it's very similar to the Fenty Beauty. So, this is my All Day Luminous. Now, I did not blend it in or anything like that, but that's that. And then I'm going to put this shade on. So it's right here, and I'm gonna blend that in. This is my first time doing this, so I'm seeing this with y'all. So this one looks a lot more orange, but to me it doesn't look that orange. <laughs> Sorry. To me it does not look this orange um, on my face. So, I can understand why in their PR packages they sent most of the beauty bloggers, or no, they sent out in their PR packages three foundations, and that's because they do have such a wide variety that it's like, you don't know where you'll fall. It, it'll all be based off your undertone. So I tried two other shades, I cannot remember the names, but it was a shade before and a shade after this one, and one was way too light, one was way too dark. Or not way, but you know, one was too light and one was too dark. So I ended up getting this one, and I don't know, you guys could tell me, but I think it matches I think it matches pretty darn good. So, um, yeah, that's the shade I ended up getting. All right, so all in all, would I purchase this foundation again or recommend it to you guys? Yes, I would purchase it again. Um, I actually love it. I really, really do. Like, I really do. And I do think it smooths the skin out as they claim. So, yeah, I, I really, really like this foundation. I don't know if I like it as much as the All Day Luminous, but you know i really do like it at least for my skin type i like it would i recommend this product to you guys that all depends on your skin type um based off what i've seen as far as reviews the people that have had negative reviews or um, negative things negative experiences with this foundation have had oily skin um so i don't think this might be a foundation for oily skin or my maybe like super oily skin i don't know but I, I just don't know if i would recommend it to you guys if you have um 
oily skin I'm kind of on the fence but if you have dry skin or maybe combination skin yes I definitely recommend this foundation and with that being said yes I would purchase it again all right so that is it for this video I hope this was helpful and that you guys enjoyed if you did please be sure to go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up as well as clicking that subscribe button down below or you can just click this right here and subscribe as well as check out my previous video right over here until next time, love you guys and bye-bye.